Good morning, everybody. Bon dia, and welcome to Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. We are here in Saquarema, which is a world-renowned wave location for the second pure wave event of the GWA Wing Foiling World Tour. Riders are electric. They're getting ready to go and test out the beautiful, warm Brazilian waters. And let's see what is going to be happening out here, because I reckon new things are going to be coming our way. location of Brazil, Saquarema, and we can see out there already the sun is shining and our wing foilers are getting ready to go as we are going to be starting off. There you can see red flag is in the sky and green is on a go as we are getting this competition started. First off in the water, we have out there today who are going to be our players. We have Clemán Rosseo, so we're going to be having Vinicius Martin, Clemán Rosseo, and Marius Aubert. So Clement's going to be in the pink, Vinicius is going to be in the blue, and Marius is going to be in the white. All right, so here we can see that is Marius. Just making his way down this wave there in the white. Marius Aubert, two-tone athlete. We have seen uh, Vinicius Martins, a 2.47 for his first wave. And now it looks like Marius Aubert here just waiting for his score to be coming. All right, there. So in the blue, Vinicius Martins once again. So Marius Aubert, a 3.60 for that one. If you're just joining us, good morning from beautiful Brazil, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in Saquarema, and this is the location of the Rio de Janeiro events. In the pink, we have Clement Rossier, one of the top surfers that we have out here on tour. Did very well in Cape Verde, but got injured and was not able to compete and continue on in the competition. Here we have a Marius Aubert. In, uh, at the moment, who is leading with a 3.60, and then Vinicius Martin, the Brazilian, with a 2.47. So round one, heat number one here of the GWA Wing Falling World Tour event in uh, Brazil. It is so nice to be over here. This is one of the locations where they have the Surfing World Tour as well. This wave is world renowned. And we have been having some very nice conditions. The swell is a little bit smaller today than we saw yesterday. But the tide is also having something to say with that. Looking like we we're going to have winds today and tomorrow. And then a little bit further on in the week, it is going to get big and chunky out there. As forecast is already saying, about four meter swells at 16 seconds. So looking forward to see that. There we have a Clement here rolling in on a little bit of an inside roller. All right, now going backside. Nice top turn, keeping the flow. Making sure that he keeps equal entry and exit speed. Making his way down past that second section right in front of the judges. All right, nice little bit of an air, but just unfortunately going off the back. But a nice wave there from the Frenchman. 
This guy's been hanging out in, in Teopo and uh, Tahiti for the last month and a half. And we've been seeing him out there on the ground getting in some very nice waves. Definitely one of the names to beat out there when it comes to the surfing side. This is the second pure wave event of the season. The first one being K Verde. And now looking forward to seeing what these guys are going to bring to the table. And the ladies also, as they've had quite a bit of time to train. And now just starting to enjoy the beautiful conditions over here. And there it is. GWA Wing Falling World Tour events here in Sakwalema. The Copa Kaitli 2023. Vinicius Martins here, the Brazilian, dropping in. Neil Pride Rider. First little check turn off the top, opening up those shoulders, deciding to go left instead of right. Keeping himself close to the foam ball to keep that power. And just getting caught up a little bit here in the mush. Not really going to be able to go out in front. Just getting a couple of turns, but still early days, early days for our athletes out there on the water. As let's not forget... These guys, we're going to be going for men's heat one to eight. And then we'll be moving over to the ladies. All right, Mario Silver, nice. Going all the way back, cutting back off of there. A little bit of a roundhouse. And now pumping his way forward to try and get into the section. Are we going to be seeing a little bit of an air? No, we're not. Just a little cruise straight line in it. But like how he go, keeps himself close to the foam ball, making sure he uses all of the power of the wave. Smooth, calm, cool, and collected. Nice wave there from the Frenchman. And Marius Aubert there for his wave attempt number three. Just under six minutes left of this heat. Top two waves are the ones that are going to be counting. All right, so now Clement going in again. Let's not forget that the winner of this round number one will be making it all the way through to round number three. And then the other two are going to be have to battle it out in what I like to call the dungeons of round number two. And this is a nice wave here from Tom Ober from excuse me, Clement Robert. So Clement Rossero here down, getting three decent turns. Good wave selection here from him. And going to be trying and powering himself up a little bit so he can get back into position. You can see the duotone athlete out there on the new units. Talked to him before, he was he's going out on a 55-liter board. He's on his five-meter wing, and he has a 600 front wing. So making sure to be able to move that thing around and slice and dice our waves up into pieces here. Day number one for the GWA Wing Falling World Tour events, and it is so nice to be over here in Rio de Janeiro. All right, so we can see all of the athletes out in the back waiting for those sets to come in as this is uh, heat number one, round number one of the competition. Coming up next, we have uh, Charlie Martin, Kirai Verma, and Hugo Marin. Those are going to be the three riders that will be coming up next in heat number two. The idea, as I said, is to do heat number one to eight of the men, and then we will switch it up to the ladies. Day number one of competition and already Sakwarema. Had some very nice waves here in this in the morning, and now it's got that side shore to side on on it. But as we saw yesterday, it starts to turn to side off, side to side off, and we start to get some very nice conditions out there. But at the what moment we can see, first is Clement, second is Marius Aubert, and third is Vinicius Martins, and here we have Marius on a very nice open face turn all the way back, keeping low. And making everything out of this wave. Very nice flow here from the French athletes. Two big carving turns. So good wave there from Marius. Now let's have a look. As I can see out the corner of my booth, 
Also, we have seen Vinicius Martin. Here we have the Brazilian out there in the blue. Also getting a nice wave here on the inside. So every single athlete having yet another wave as it stands. Clement has an 8.40. We can see that Marius has a 7.20. But I reckon that's going to increase after that last surf. And also Vinny with a 6.0. But they've all three of them have had a good wave there on that fourth wave. They have a top amount of 10 waves they can catch. And as it stands, we have Clement in first place. But there we can see Marius getting very close to him. And we're just coming on up about two minutes to go. The green flag is still in the sky. And what a way to start. What a conditions we have out there. Little far and few between, in the, between the sets, but still some nice wing foiling surf. And we can go. Here we have. All right. All the way down. Marius, good wave selection here. Goes around. Nice little roundhouse back into the power section. We want to see a little bit more vertical turn. Okay, get to the... Does get the foil up there, but unfortunately going underneath and closing out. And there we can see that it's going to be Ugo Marin getting ready for the next heat. All right, so we can see there in the pink, Clement Roseo. He is your leader here in this heat as we are just coming into the final minute of this first heat of the competition here for the Copper Kite League GWA Wing Falling World Tour event here in Rio de Janeiro, Saquarema. And this beautiful, warm Brazilian location for the first time we are debuting here in the, uh, with the Wing Falling World Tour. And it is so cool to come over to Brazil here in August. This place is beautiful. It's got some of the best sunsets I've ever seen. You have the church up on the hill that just lightens up Great vibes, surfer town, really, really nice just to be here and enjoying some of the best wing foilers in the world, testing out the Brazilian waters as we are going to be closing this one out. Unless anything changes up, I'm just going to have a little sneak peek outside of my window here. And there it is. That is red flag. And there is the church, as I was mentioning. So that is going to be it for this heat. Going through into round number three directly is going to be Clement Rosseo. Congratulations to him. Let's have a little look at the highlights of that last one. And welcome back, everybody. There we can see the highlights of that last heat getting ready to go. As coming up next, we will have Charlie Martin, Keenan Verma, and Ugo Marin are going to be coming out onto the water. But before we go into that heat, I caught up with Clement Rosseo a little bit earlier this morning. Let's see what he thinks about Saquarema here in Rio de Janeiro. Hey, it's a very nice place. Look how it sunny is it. I need to take your sunglasses. So, yeah, it's a very good place for surfing that we know from the WSL. Uh, it's also a good spot for wind. We saw it yesterday with the kite woman. The condition was super nice. Uh, I think for me it's one of the best spots we have. Uh, wind from the left, good for the goofies. Uh, I hope we're gonna have good waves and good condition for the wing. I'm very excited about this wave when it's gonna be a more high tide, it's gonna be good. 
uh, the waves are gonna be, I think, very good for wing folding, turns, hairs, carving, and show the what people have learned for one year now in the wave. And just super excited to see people just shredding out. You. And welcome back, everybody. So, green flag in the sky. Charlie Martin, uh, Kiran Verma, and Ugo Marin. We have Charlie. He's going to be out there in the white lycra. Kiran is going to be in the blue. And Ugo Marin is going to be in the pink. Right, so waiting to see the boys to get out there as we are continuing on heat number two around number one of the men here for the Copper Kite GWA Wing Foiling World Tour. Here we can see the re replay here from Ugo Marin. One of the top surfer, this guy has won the Dakler events, he has won pure surfing events, very talented young man. Here we can see Charlie Martin, first time we're seeing him out here on the wing foiling, very talented strapless kite surfer coming out of the island of Reunion. This guy has some power when it comes to his surfing. But here we have once again Ugo Marin cruising and cruising. He's been just recently coming back from a Mauritius, being chilling out there at one eye. And being getting tuned in for his surfing. F1 rider, you can see him out there on the strike free. And I think if I'm not mistaken, he is out there on a 700 front wing. And also quite similar out there on a 55 liter board. So the guys are going, some of them have taken out a little bit of a bigger board due to the fact that it is light to be able to get going quite easily. Obviously as it's wave riding, you've got to find that perfect medium where you have maneuverability, but also if it's light, you have the, the option of getting up easily on the foil. So here we can see Ugo just speeds his way through. Actually, it looks like he's on a smaller, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's a 525. We'll be getting that information in for you guys and girls as soon as possible. But yeah, enjoying the serving here from Ugo Marin, currently in the lead of this heat. Heat number two, round number one. So there it is, 8.33 there for Marin, a 2.63 for Martin, and uh, we have waiting for Kieran Verma from Australia in the blue Lycra to appear. It doesn't look like he is, he's all the way down on the right here, having a little bit of a trouble getting back in. So let's see if he can make his way out there. You're going down there, unfortunately. Tough conditions as wind, we have about 15 to 18 knots out there. The guys are out on five meter wings as we stand. I can see some of the guys actually pumping up a bit smaller wings because how it works here is a little bit of the thermal. It starts kind of side on and then as it gets better, it goes through to side and side off. And that's when we start to see the swell cleaning up. You can see it's a little bit cross on shore there at the moment. So let's see if that wind turns back to side shore and we're going to be getting some better conditions here for the first day of competition. There we can see Charlie Martin all the way out. So we're just coming up a little bit under eight minutes left of this heat. Now here we can see Ugo Marin going to be dropping in on yet another swell. 9.5 for him so far. Silky smooth, just easy laid back swell here from the Frenchman as he gets yet another wave.
All right, so I just had to pop my head out of the window there to, as they are going to be changing the heat order coming out onto the water, as it does look like now we have heat order is going to be one to eight and then women's number one and number two. And just having a little look here now, as I can hear our race director, Juan Antonio is going to be changing it very soon and we'll be getting that information to you but at the moment we can see Hugo Marin in the lead here 9.50 so it's going to be men's heat one to four and then we'll be changing over to the women so men's heat one until four and then we would change over to the women but here we have Hugo Marin cruising and perusing Currently in the lead and has a very nice ride already of 5.43. I just love this guy's style. He's just so laid back. He's such a chilled and relaxed guy. And we'll be catching up. I caught up with him this morning. We'll be bringing that interview to you just after this heat. A very relaxed guy. And also he's been out here a few days and he's going to be telling us a little bit of his experience so far here in Saquarema. Right, under four minutes to go. So still it is the Frenchman, Marine in the lead. Charlie Martin has had one wave. And unfortunately, Kieran just not being able to connect with anyone. So it does look like he's having quite a bit of a problem actually getting go. Winds now gusting about 15. Average of about 13 to 15 knots. So guys and girls are definitely out there on the big gear. Here we can see everybody starting to set up the equipment down on the competition area. They're on the left-hand side of your screen. The Black Mamba, Wesley Brito, the winner of the Cape Verdean event. I am looking forward to see him get out in the water. But let's not forget, he's one of the heavier riders out there as well. But it is this man definitely is going to be one of the favorites here for this event. Hugo Marin, as he is just connecting section after section. Not doing anything too crazy, just making sure he gets the numbers. Ten wave attempts. The top two waves are the ones that are going to score. They are average on a base of 10. What are the judges looking for? We'll be finding out about that as we also caught up with our, one of our judges, Paulino Pereira, who was going to be explaining that for us. So we'll be bringing that to you in uh, the transition in between heats. Uh, as it stands, here we have Hugo Marin, your current leader and number one here in this heat number two, round number one. Definitely the only guy you can see just keeps nice and low, keeps the power. Make sure he stays into the power section of the wave. And you can see he is just having fun and cruising and chilling out there as you're coming up on about two, little less than two minutes to go in these 12 minute heats. Ooh, a little bit of a fumble there. And just having a play. Sakwanema, it has three kind of peaks all the way up on the top left and then it kind of a frames in the middle and then depending on the size you can have a hollower section a little bit further down and then kind of flattens out as it gets all the way on to the end of the sandbar but yet yeah, there we have both of the riders making their way out as we are just approaching that final minute of competition here in this heat All right. 
right? So not looking like too much more out there on the horizon. As let's have a little look, see. So coming up next, we are going to be having out there Malo Genole, Leon Shell, and Fernando Novaez. Miso is also going to be joining us in the next heat. As he is going to be getting ready, Miso. Fernando Novaez, a very talented Brazilian, one of the veterans and one of the top surfers out there. Caught up with him as well. So we're going to be bringing that to you very shortly. As here it is, day number one. As we are already on a roll here for the GWA. Yesterday we saw Muna White take the Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour stop here in Saquaremo on the kite surfing discipline. So we have a champion at Muna White. That's two for two. She took Cape Verde and now has taken also this event of our sister tour. And there, a little bit more loosey goosey here from Ugo. Just playing in the warm Brazilian waters. As that is it, that is going to be the end of this heat. Let's have a look at the highlights of that last heat. And welcome back, everybody, as we continue on here for the Copper Kite League GWA Wing Foil World Tour. You can see everybody starting to get ready as the Wing Foilers are going out there. And coming up next, we are going to be having Fernando Novaez Miso, one of the top athletes out on the water. And we caught up with him earlier this morning. This is a well known spot for surfing, not so much wind sports. And we are having the opportunity to find actually some really good conditions today, first day. We got some side uh, offshore wind and um, it looks pretty good, sun is out. There's about three to four, maybe some five foot sets. And uh, we are really excited to try it out. I think it's gonna be like maybe the 10th time that someone went winging here. So yeah, we are super excited to see how it is from the inside. So we have been training on really mm, different kind of waves, usually point breaks, not so much big beach breaks like here. Uh, especially for me at home, the waves are completely different. Actually, it's really hard to find a wave like this with a good wind direction. So we've been lately, before the wind came, we were foil surfing, kind of <laughs> trying to survive on the whitewash and the current, which is really, really strong. And we did a lot of surfing as well, just to get the feel of the wave and the current and save some energy for the wind. And for sure, we expect some amazing rides. There's a right hander right there that opens up on the current. So you'll see some amazing carving for sure. And thank you very much, Miso. Cool to catch up with him earlier this morning and just enjoying the uh, location that he has here. He's been chilling out and surfing quite a lot. I had to talk to him also a little bit earlier just as I arrived from the competition. All right, but now here we have out there on the water, we have... Uh, Leon Shell from uh, Great Britain. Mano Genole is going to be out there on the white. Here we can see Leon here on the blue. And Fernando Novaes is going to be out there on the pink, more known as Miso, as we just saw there on that interview. So Leon here. Let's see what this young athlete has. One of the talented youngsters of the F1 team. You can see him out there also on the new V3. So Malo is with the gong rider, and here we can see, here's Miso. So Miso, Fernando Novaya starting, like I said before, one of the top surfers, has a very nice surfing style, very fluid, kind of long body, and just making it look nice and easy out there, going backside, connecting, just being in front of the foam ball, getting the power, so he's already linked two sections together, back to the foam, to so maintain that speed, a nice opener there for him.
All right, here we can see some of the boys starting to get ready. There we can see Chavi Kaur, the youngster from Tarifa, getting his vibe on. You can see him a little bit nervous, starting to move those knees. Out there with some of the Brazilian athletes. And in the background there, we can see Tom Hartman, the tour manager, talking to Wesley Brito and Hendrik Lopez there as well. The boys getting ready for their heat. Malo Genolier just attacking out there with the white and the green helmet. And here we can see Leon here on the inside. Oh, just getting caught up by the wing there. Having a little, little bit of a dispute with his wing. All right, and Leon. That's not going to be Leon. That guy is a little bit further out of our heat. All right, so waiting to see who's going to get on the wave. So we have there with the white helmet and the blue, that is Leon. We have out there with the white Lycra and the green helmet and the black and green gong is Malo Genolaire. And here we have Mizuo making his way back in here in the pink. All right, Fernando making his way back out. There we can see Leon Shield there just having a little bit of problem waiting for that gust to come in to be able to get back up on the floor. Well, as I said before, there's a fine median in between having a small front wing to be able to get the maneuverability carving and chilling around. And then when it comes to getting up on the floor to be able to get going. So there we can see the boys, Wesley Budo, Tom Hartman, and Hendrix Lopez. Hello guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are enjoying it out there in the sun. Oh, watch out Black Mamba getting the wings with his Red Bull. And Red Bull, the, one of the official partners here for the GWA Wing Falling World Tour. Thank you very much for the support and making sure our athletes are motivated and adrenaline pumped out there on the water. Conditions kind of far and few between in at the moment. It does look like the wind has dropped ever so slightly as I am seeing gusts from 12 to 14 on the meters that we have here. And there we can see Mano Genolea, the current Sir Freestyle World Champion. As he is making his way down the line. Very talented young athlete. And always a man to look out for. He is a very complete on both the Sir Freestyle and the surfing. A very good prone surfer as well. And here just getting a little bit of a backside roller. Currently, he is in second position. He's got a 4.0. And he's definitely going to be getting a decent backup score. So here we have Miso as well. It's really like how he just pushes that back foot out. Getting a little bit more of a hack in the turn, but unfortunately taking off on not such a good wave there. Day number one here in the beautiful location of Rio de Janeiro. If you are just joining us, welcome to Saquarema here for the GWA Wing Falling World Tour event. So let's have a little look on at the uh, rankings. So on the men's side, Wesley Brito, Benoit Carpentier and Zane Schweitzer are your top three. On the ladies' side, we have uh, Muna White, Nia Suadias and Bowen van der Linden. There we can see on your screen... That young man is Chavi Kaur and Bowen van der Linden. It's good to see Bo making, making the boys pump up a wing. Experience is a pleasure. As we are just about coming around half, more than halfway through this heat, 12 minute heats. Top two waves are the ones that are gonna be counting. And here we can see Malo cruising and perusing. This is a much better wave, two nice turns there. Going a little bit more vertical than the other athletes, as we've seen so far, and linking together, dragging the wind there, but also getting those turns, little nice little cut back there to the foam ball. Good surfing there from him. All right, so we're continuing on. Uh, Miso.
So Mano just waiting for a score on that. That is definitely going to improve his overall. Here we have Misa. It's a very nice wave right in the pocket all the way back. Cut back after cut back, liking what we see. And just makes it all the way down into the front of the judges. Good wave selection, nice moves. They're definitely going to like that one out there. 10.30 there for Mano Ginoles so far. So that's a 4.80 and also a 5.50. And here we can see Misu just upping his first score there with a 5.07. So quite a close heat in between those two, about a point and a half difference. As we continue on, and here we can see the event location here for the Copper Kite EGWA Wing 4 World Cup here in Brazil 2023. And that is, there we can see our live stream booth. And everybody down here, this is the event setup that we have here for this first time event in Rio de Janeiro, the second pure wave event of the tour. And talk about pure waves, here we have some surfing action. Malo Genole, the French athlete on your screen. Opening up the arms, where the heck goes, the body will follow. Very nice flow here. Really opening up those shoulders and the chest. A little bit of a float, but going off the back there for Malo. Currently your number one. Here we have Miso going backside. And now it looks like he's going to be deciding to go the other way. So let's see if he can get back into the power sections because a little bit far off on the shoulder. Nice roundhouse there. Let's see if this wave is going to open up for him, but no quite. Closed out and far off on the shoulder. It does look like those... Right-handers are working a little bit better than the lefts. The lefts are the ones that kind of come through when the sets happen. At the moment, continuing on, and yeah, unfortunately there, Leon, Leon Shell not being able to get out. There we can see Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio Aragon, our race director, checking out the conditions and making sure. We can see, and let's not forget, this is a combined event. So it is a Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour event here for the Copper Kite Lee on the kite surfing side. And then also it is a GWA Wing 4 World Tour event, also the Copper Kite Lee. So great to have such a good location. Beautiful water sports location here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The first time that we've been here and starting to enjoy some hacks, some turns and some calms from the best of the best in the game. All right, Miso, a nice front side here. Let's not forget he is a goofy rider, so he's going right foot forward on a left-hander. And a nice round the house, just making sure, getting his balance. All right, here we have Leon. Let's see if he can start to get up. He has a 3.30, waiting to see the score on that. Maybe we can see a replay of that last wave there from him. Here we can see the replay of that last wave from Leon. Let's see what he has. Keeping himself busy, making sure he keeps the speed up. Nice, going back. And this is where the wave starts to jack up a little bit. Pushing out the turn. All right, nice little air grab there from him. So these youngsters, they just make some of these freestyles moves look too easy. Not gonna be a biggest of scores, but still starting to get loose, starting to get easier out there for him. A 3.57 for that last one, so he's going to be at 6.87 as we go into the final minute on the water and the final minute of this heat just coming up. Uh, we can see Teo De Manis and Clement Rosseo. Uh, it looks like these boys are starting to do some strategy out there. They're going to go, yep, so if I beat you there and I kick you here, that means you're going to be out over here. So, yeah, just starting to get the old psychological strategy and tactics happening. As we are in the final seconds here of this heat, it looks like Miso is going to be going for yet another wave. All right, let's have a little look at the highlights of that last heat, but your winner, Malo Genole.
And welcome back, everybody, as we continue on the competition here for the first day of the uh, Copper Kite GWA Kite Wing Foil World Cup Brazil 2023. We can see our athletes starting to get ready. And earlier this morning, we caught up with one of our judges, Paulino Pereira, to explain the judging criteria and what they are looking for here in Brazil. Here in Tecorema for wing foil, we are looking for the, the wing foilers to, to push the left and the right. Because here this spot has a lot of uh, potential, like a point break. So I've seen uh, already yesterday, the guys were impressing us with the pushing some airs against the wind. And also the downwinders, they were like carving so well and fast. So I think I will expect more than uh, we were looking for actually. We were like uh, trying to, to get a smaller day for them, but actually I saw really good action yesterday with bigger waves than the day before. So I think the week four will uh, impress you today. All right, well, there it is. That's the ins and the outs of what the judges are going to be looking for over here in Brazil and how the guys are going to be getting those top scores. So coming up next, we have uh, Rodrigo Moraes, Bastian Escoffet, and Benoit Carpentier. Let's not forget Benoit Carpentier on the Wave Tour is in second position so far. There we can see him out there in the pink. He is just about to get going. He's also a world champion Wave SU peer. A very talented man when it comes to surfing. And we're just waiting to see. He is going to be so Benoit on your screen and just carves and flows all the way around. The free wing and starboards athletes coming out of France. All right, and a nice opener there from him. Bastian Escoffet is going to be out there in the blue. We can see him out there on the gong. And then Rodrigo Moraes. He's going to, if I'm not mistaken, it's looking like he is on the Cabrina with the white Lycra in the middle of your screen. We get confirmation on that. But here we go. Let's have a little look as we continue on here for day number one. All right, so a little bit under 10 minutes of this heat. Let's not forget top two waves out of 10 wave attempts. Benoit Carpentier had a 4.33 of his first wave. Let's see as he goes here on this wave number two. Good selection right inside the pocket. Nice open shoulder carving hack all the way back. Lining it up with yet another one. Really opens up his body to be able to maintain that speed. As he goes down, keeps going along, and now just using that little foam ball at the end of that. But still, linking it together, Benoit, at the moment, you're number one in your leader out there on the water. And here we can see Rodrigo Moraes. And Bastian Escoffet, this is a very nice set wave, and it's actually starting to lift up here for him. All right, here we go. Turn number two, but now flatten out completely out the front. A little bit of a lull here as they can see in between sets. 
Swell was dropping off a little bit today. Yesterday we had about 1.2 to 1.3 meters, and today it's cooling about 1.0. Uh, this man keeping himself very busy all the way along <laughs> nice really does open up that body and off the top just links one or two turns together but keeping the speed going back to the white water to be able to maintain and go past those two to three sections picking off the smaller waves not the bigger waves on the set but keeping you know making those scores let's not forget Sometimes it is about just getting a few scores on the board, but Bastien Escoffet also a 5.30 for that first wave. You only had one as we have Benoit is going for wave number three and very consistent, 5.47 and a 4.70. All right, Bastien, right on the A-frame section here of this Sacuanema wave. Here we go, up and around. Turn number two, nice, keeping the speed. And he is right in the section, a little bit of an air. Can he keep it going? Yes, he does. Just starting to add some freestyle to that. Little bit bouncy here on the way down, but nice. Another wave there for the Frenchman. Recently joining the Gong team and involved in the development of their foils. It looks like those foils are turning and hacking and carving very nicely on that last wave there from him. It's probably going to be the best wave of the heat so far, as I'm seeing some of the scores going to be landing for that one. So I reckon Bastian is going to be going into first. There it is, a 6.27, one up, an 11.57. And here we have Rodrigo Moraes. As he is also looking, waiting, trying to see if some bumps are going to be coming his way. Right, Bastien Escoffet there again in another, trying to see if he can catch up on a little bit of a swell. We're just coming up on five minutes left of this heat. So far it is Mr. Escoffet with 11.57 in the lead. And Benoit Carpentier out there in second with a 10.17. A little bit more consistent, but still nobody really getting too many waves. But we have seen the top wave out there so far, Bastien. All right, here we have... Rodrigo Moraes, oh, just almost losing the foil here on the downside. But yet not going to be able to continue with that round on that wave, so that's going to be a crash out there for him. And continuing on here, first day of competition, a little slow in between the sets. Guys are really going to be having to make the most of those set waves when they do come through if they want to get those top scores. And here it looks like Bastian's going to be taking on, on yet another right at that ace frame section here. All right, decides to air it. Flat section right in front of him. But if he can stay close to the foam ball, he's going to be able to get at least a couple of links turns. Nice roundhouse there. Wing getting a little bit caught up in the white water, but still keeping himself busy. Your current leader there on your screen.
All right, Benoit Carpentier picking up on a very nice set wave. We just saw Bastian score a 6.0, but Benoit, this is one of the biggest waves we've seen of the day. Can he make the most of it? If he can perform on it, it's going to be a good score. Not going quite all the way back, but all the way down the line and in between the kite as well. Here, Bastian Escoffet answering back. So both of these guys are taking off on this nice set. And Bastian staying close to that section, just getting his wing caught up there. And now let's see how the scores are going to be because we have a battle on our hands in between the pink and the blue. So Benoit Carpentier and Bastian Escoffet, but it looks like Bastian is going to be getting the better side of that battle as we're waiting for some of the scores to be dropped and just over two minutes to go. All right, Rodrigo Moraes also taken out on a set wave here further down the competition area. But very much straight lining it out there. So and also a little bit of information in the last wave from Bastian is not going to be count because they have to go outside of the competition area after every wave so they can make sure that they are getting and being fair out there. So every time they grab a wave, they have to go outside the competition area, which is marked off by those boys, and then come back down. So that is just a little info for you guys and girls back on the stream as we are currently here for the second day of competition and final minute of this heat so far. It is Bastian Escoffet in the lead, Benoit Carpentier in second, Rodrigo Moraes in third. If it stays like that, that means Bastian is going to be advancing through to round number three, and the other two are going to have to battle it out in round number two. We're going to be continuing on as it was going to be after this heat. We're going to be having the ladies come out onto the water here for day number one of the competition. And 15 seconds to go, so unless anybody grunts in on another wave, that is going to be it for this one. And it does look like, as I can see, we're getting the flags are going to be coming our way. And there it is, a red flag in the sky. So it is going to be Bastian Escoffet is going to be the winner of that heat. And let, let's have a little look at the highlights from uh, this last heat. And welcome back, everybody, as we are now going to be changing over to the ladies. So we are going to be having Nia Schwadias and Bowen van der Linden going out there onto the water in less than uh, two minutes. But before we do so, we are going to grab as we caught up with Nia earlier this morning. It's been a long journey, this few events in Gran Canaria. But I'm super excited and stoked to be here now in Sacarema in Brazil for the second stop of the Wave Tour. Um, I've been competing in all the disciplines. I love every single one of them. I love to race. I love freestyle. And the waves gets me so excited. I haven't been out here in Sacarema. I just arrived. Um, it's looking good. Wind is not that promising. But I hope to get some wind these few days. And let's see how the competition goes. 
All right, and welcome back, everybody. As there, you can see yellow flag in the sky, getting ready to go into sequence. Green flag as we start off with the first heat of the women. Nia Swadius, Bowen, Van der Linden, two of the top surf freestyle athletes out there. Swadius is the surf freestyle world champion, and Bowen Van der Linden has been a world champion as well. So we have two world champions out here in the water. The best of the best joining us here in Sakwarema. As we start off with both of them here for heat number one of the women. All right, so here we can see Bo out there on the north mode. Let's see if I can catch a glimpse of the size. I talked to her before. It was looking like a four meters. I'm just waiting to see the number here. Where is it? Where is it? I try and most of the guys have been out on five meters. I reckon the girl, I reckon that's even looking like a five meter. 4.5. So a little bit less. So 4.5 there for Bo. Already we saw Nia Swadius getting wave number one of 4.2 and the 2.57 for that last surf there from Bowen van der Linden just waiting for scores. Let's not forget they have 10 wave attempts, top two waves are the ones that are going to be showing out there. And here we have Nia dropping in on yet another section.
I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Had to jump out as there was an issue with the scoring. As you can see now, the top two waves are the ones that count. So two waves, we have Nia Suadias with a 5.32 and a 3.88 and 9.20 total. Here we can see the replay of that last wave from Bo. She already has a 2.54 and now waiting for her new score to be dropped. Currently in the lead, we do have Suadias, 12 minute heat, 10 wave attempts, and the ladies catching some very nice ones here on the inside, but it's Suadias, a 6.23 and a 5.32. The two best scores out there so far, an 11.55. All right, Suadias. She has pretty much been clean sweeping every discipline out there so far and now having a look and see what she can be doing on the way is one of the main players definitely is going to be Muna White and also Bowen van der Linden in this heat. But Nia already getting some solid scores up in the mid sixes and the mid fives as we're just coming up on five minutes left on this heat. So Bowen van der Linden out the back. There you can see her out there on the north mode. And Neo is out on the Unit 2 D lamp from Duotone. As there is, and let's not forget, every single time they grab away, they have to go outside of the competition area and then be able to come back in if they want to continue on. First day of competition here for the Rio de Janeiro Brazil Copa Kitely of the GWA Wing for World Tour. First time we've come here to Rio de Janeiro and the people, the vibe, the music, the food, everything is absolutely insane. And the sun sets down here on the beach with a nice cold one where it was definitely 5 o'clock and there you can see the church. That church lights, completely lights up and it has the sunset behind it. It is a sight to be seen. And always better with a nice cold one down here on that, the beachfront. We're fortunate enough to be in the Posada right 10 meters behind this event site that's been put together by Kitely, which is actually their birthday, the birth date here of the Kitely magazine and the Kitely organization. And really marking a before and an after getting an event down here in Rio. We've been trying to do that for a very, quite a long time, many years. And it is so cool to finally have it here. And in one, none less than none least than Sakwarema. Waves are a little bit smaller today. Looks like the swell is picking up again tomorrow. All right, so here we have Bo. She needs to improve her scores quite a lot if she wants to have an opportunity of taking out Nia. And going around where we can see some synchronized surfing on your screen. So Bo staying a little bit straight just kind of gliding down and continuing along this one nicer surfing there from her but i am going to say nia does go a little bit more vertical and goes towards it but this was a nice long ride here for bowen van der Linden. that's going to be scored well and nia just getting caught up a little bit there in the foam ball section and trying to gain some speed with the punch All right, Swadiath coming out. Let's have a look at her wave. Nice open face hack back to the power section. This is where the wave starts to get a little bit steeper, making sure to sign to go front side. She's a goofy footer, so she's going to be going the right foot forward here on these left-handers. The bigger waves do open up nicely on left, 
A little bit of flat face turns here, and this is where she starts to get caught up a little bit about of the foam ball, but still nice couple of opening hacks and staying at least in the power section of the wave. So a 5.10 for that wave there from her. And a 3.57 is going to be for Bowen van der Linden as we come up on the last 90 seconds of this heat. And we will be continuing on with heat number two of the women where we will see uh, Leticia Nakiri, Rocio Reger from Argentina, and Muna White entering the water. All right, Bo getting yet another wave there, trying to improve that, but still not quite getting the scores that she needs as we are closing off this heat as it come into the final moments. There it is. So it is going to be Nia Suadias, the winner of that first heat of the women. And coming up next, we will be seeing a heat number two where we will have coming out onto the water Leticia Nakiri, Rocio Rajet, and Muna White. Let's have a look at the highlights of that last heat of the men. And welcome back, everybody. There you can see yellow flag in the sky and Bowen van der Linden coming off of the water there as we continue on here for the first day of the Copper Kindly GWA Wing Falling World Cup Brazil 2023. So we're going to be going on in a heat number two of the women coming out there. Leticia Nagiri, Rocio Reger from Argentina, and Muna White are going to be coming your way. And then we can see them, all the three of them, at the back waiting for that first set to roll in.
All right, so there we can see the girls just starting to try and get ready. As we have, this heat has already started, but not really any waves being coming their way. There we can see Muna White out there on the pink. She is also the winner of the Qatar Airways GK Kite World Cup here in Brazil, the Copa Kite that we had yesterday, where she took first place on the women's division. We're going to have Rocio Rejet is going to be out there in the blue. And Leticia. Laetitia Nakiri from Brazil also there is going to be out there in the white. Still nobody yet to get any waves so far as they're just waiting for that first set to come their way. All right, so Muna White dropping in on her first wave, going backhand. Recently joining the F1 family. One of the most talented young water women we have here on all of the tours. And as I always say, a smile across her face no matter what is happening. Such a talented young surfer. And already grabbing that first one. Here we can see Rocio Rochette also from Argentina. Did a very good appearance over there in uh, Cape Verde. And we've seen her warm up and she has some style, but just not quite being able to get that one there. And then when it comes for Laetitia, the local Brazilian down there from Cumbuco, from Fortaleza, is a little bit further out there on the right-hand side. You can see having problems of getting up as the wind is a little bit lighter. It still started to go a little bit further side to side off, which it has been doing in the afternoons over here. But so far, it is going to be Muna White, a 3.0 for that first wave, your current leader on the screen. All right, so Muna going outside as she has grabbed her wave. And every time one of the athletes take one of the waves, they have to make it all the way out the back. And she's just going to be chilling here in the middle of the impact zone. Waves are very far and few between. Can I have a little look at the forecast here again? Because it has definitely gone down. Obviously, the tide having something to do with that. Let's have a look on the old guru here. So... Today in the afternoon, yet the wind was supposed to die off as of 3 o'clock. So it's coming up to that sort of time. Waves are going to be dying. And then it is in uh, on Thursday when they start to come back. And then when it comes to Monday next week, it is absolutely going to be firing out there. And there we can see Laetitia out there on the Cabrina just not being able to get up on her feet. And also there, Rocio Rajet, the wind is definitely dropped out and I can see our race director having a little look-see here because it is light as it gets as none of these girls are planing at all I reckon we might be seeing a AP flag coming up soon as it is really starting to get marginal out there keep you updated on that but as it stands day number one here for the GWA wing for World Cup event here in Brazil the Copa Kitely it's also the uh, Kitely's brand birthday today from its creation. So happy birthday there to Kitely. It's going to be a little bit of a party out there tonight to celebrate that. A big congratulations to Rafael Lauda and all of his team and Victor and everybody to have made this event happen in Rio de Janeiro. We've been wanting to have an event here for so many years and they have done it with a lot of sweat, a lot of tears. And it is just so cool to be able to be down here at one of the best surfing locations in Brazil. As it standed yesterday, we had a Muna White take the win on the women's side of the Qatar Airways GK Kite World Tour kite surfing discipline. 
And now let's see what is going to be happening out here. There we can see Laetitia Nigiri coming out of Kumbuko now back up on the floor, trying to make her way back upwind. But I tell you what, it is starting to look very, very light here on the inside.
All right, everybody. Well, it is official. Competition is over for today. There has not been any conditions. The wind has not picked up, and we're not going to be able to continue. So we are going to be starting off tomorrow. Skipper's meeting is going to be a little bit later. Make sure to follow us on all our social media channels so you can find out when, how, and what is going to be going down. Will it be wing foiling? Will it be kite surfing? We will have to find out. Um, we will see you here tomorrow. Thank you very much, and good night.